Well, greetings. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. Yes, indeed, the Handheld Hack, and that is where we explore handheld devices across the whole world. And I have one in my hand right here, the Handheld <laughs> Kindle Fire. Yes, and guess what? Right as I was sitting down to do my netcast, not only this netcast, but the Dr. Bill Show, all the other netcasts, I was sitting down, I turned on my fire, and guess what happened? It upgraded itself automatically. It upgraded itself to 6.2.2 .2 software. I haven't had a chance to explore it very much because I had netcast to do. But, cool. I like the fact that it upgrades itself. That's awesome. Now, let's talk about, oh, by the way, before I get into that, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Handheld Hack Netcast. Yes. I tell you what, I really like Tech Podcast, and I appreciate them allowing us to join with the Handheld Hack Netcast, because we need information about handheld devices. All right. So, uh, where shall we start? Oh, yes. BlackBerry Playbook Tablet Security Issues. Now, this is a, a post from eh, some time ago. Uh, let's see, when was it? January 16th? Well, it's not too far back. Anyway, January 16th, uh, there was a, an article here that I posted. BlackBerry hasn't had much good news lately. No. Uh, particularly in terms of sales of their tablets. But now they have an issue with security. Uh, BlackBerry Playbook Tablet Security Flaw Discovered, an exploitable connection between the Playbook Tablet and handheld BlackBerry devices poses a risk to users. Ooh, not a good thing. You can read about the details here in the article, but uh, I'm telling you, not a good thing for BlackBerry. And, uh, you know, I'm not a huge... I had a BlackBerry phone. I did. It was the BlackBerry uh, Storm, I think it was called. And, you know, it was a nice little phone in its day, back in the day. But, yeah, I like my Android Droid X now. Now, I know the Droid X is actually a little old. But, you know, you go two years with your phones, and it's doing fine. I like it. So, there you go. But upgraded from the BlackBerry to the Droid, and I appreciate the Droid a lot, believe me. So, sorry, BlackBerry. Lost another customer there. Oh, well. Anyway, another story here. Kindle Fire is profitable for Amazon. Now, I mentioned in the last Ken Hill hack, when we were talking about the fact that Kindle Fire's, you know, or maybe it was, I forget if it was the last or the one before, but anyway, point is that uh, the Kindle Fire, there was some concern that it actually cost $5 more than they were selling them for to make them. So they're losing five bucks on every Kindle Fire they sold. And I said, don't worry, they'll make it up with volume. <laughs> no, it doesn't really work that way, I know. Don't you economic dudes send me an email that says, Dr. Bill, what are you talking about? What I mean is that when you have a Kindle Fire, you go out and you buy stuff like the case. I bought a case and extra chargers and the protection sheets and accessories. And then also you buy books. I bought, I probably bought four or five new books, Star Trek books, of course, <laughs> since buying the Kindle Fire. And I've been reading them, reading them up. Yes. So, cool stuff. Anyway, so uh, they're, they're actually doing quite well. As a matter of fact, they say that over the next three years, each Kindle Fire will probably earn Amazon about $136 per person that dies of fire. And there's a lot of people bought fires, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to do okay. And I I'm tell you, I don't begrudge that whatsoever because they should be rewarded for designing such a nice system. And it... They'll keep doing more cool stuff, and we'll have more cool technology to play with. Yes, I like it. I like competition, too, because it keeps raising the bar. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I've got a post here on handheld highlights. Handheld highlights, hard to say. From CES 2012. All the different handheld things that these folks in Australia found when they went to CES 2012, and they're, they're listed in this article here. Um, I don't know if I'll go into each and every one of them, but let me just mention a couple here. Um, do, 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 haptics from VivaTouch. There's a new way of causing our handheld devices to vibrate. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, it uses 70% less battery than the previous motorized vibrators <laughs> and has more realistic rumbling while playing games or, or handheld navigation. Now see, isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, the Galaxy Note smartphone. They looked at that and went, yes. It says the Galaxy Note is world leading in its concept. It's the first truly awesome hybrid of phone and tablet, says Mr. Gunn. Okay. And the S Pen is mind blowing. Wow. The characters of the artist were doing in the Samsung stand were unbelievable. This is kind of a little commentary on what was going on there at the CES in their booth. Okay. Apparently I had an artist doing caricatures of people. Have you ever noticed, by the way, the caricature of moi on the drbill.cc site? Go to the drbill.cc site and look in the upper right-hand corner and you'll see the little caricature of me that an artist did when I went to a science fiction convention. Yes, that's pretty cool. It does my trademark tongue sticking out of the side of my mouth. Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, I've held on to that ever since then and that was done back in the Wow, probably the late 70s? Yeah, late 70s, I think. Wow. Boy, I'm dating myself. Yeah, I remember that old science fiction convention. Leonard Nimoy was there, and he didn't have his ears on. I mean, the pointy ones. He had his real ears, of course, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, they also talk about the Ion Guitar Apprentice for iPad. Pretty cool. Anyway, lots of little handheld device stuff that they're talking about there from CES. So check that out. Check out the article and the links in the article. Good stuff. All right. Last item for this week is Time Warner content for Android and iDevices. iPhone, iPad, all the various iDevices, and of course Android phones as well can now get, if you are a Time Warner subscriber, of course, you can get, download the app and you can watch Time Warner content right on your tablet or phone or whatever, which is kind of cool. So there's neat stuff like that coming in the not-too-distant future. This is out now. Uh, but, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. It's called convergence. It's all coming together, and it's geeky and cool, and I like it. Yes. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Handheld Hack. Remember, until next time, you're only as good as your last hack.